Hi, welcome back to Layton's Hour. I thought I'd take you guys along today, pulling some of my uh, beets out today. I'm going to be bottling tomorrow. I've done a video on how I do my uh, a simple recipe for beets, bottling beets. I'll post that at a, a, a link in the description down below. I also did another video on the best way to, well, the plant seeds for beets to get the best yield. And today I'm going to show you the yield that I got from after I planted my seeds this way. So yeah, beets are really good for you. Uh, I can't give, really give you any medical advice whatsoever. I'm just telling you the reason that uh, I use beets. I use beets for a lot of things. Uh, I eat beets every day uh, to help with uh, nitrous oxide. Beets are really good for that. And yeah, th like this garden is only 20 feet long and it's about a foot and a half wide. Now I won't be picking all my beets today because um, I still have about, oh well, I guess two more months that my beets can keep growing. Because I don't have that them out of the ground until probably October completely out. And if I just leave them in the ground now I can come out and pick a beet every day because I usually eat uh, pretty much one beet every day raw what I do is I grind them up put them in my salads and the, the other thing that I really like to do which is new for me this year uh, just kind of scrape them all off uh, use a uh, uh, my potato peeler and peel off like little really thin strips of my beets and I actually put beets in a bowl and I sprinkle cinnamon over them so you get a boost of both cinnamon and beets really good for you now I do keep some of the tops because I like to freeze them and have beet tops for the winter. I also use them in some of my smoothies. Really good for that. Now these beet tops, a lot of these will be going down to the pigs. I don't need as many as that I get as what I get. So yeah, they're also really good for the pigs as well. So what I'm actually going to do is take my tops out of there because uh, I have to uh, rinse my beets off once I get them all picked. And I'm only picking around 10 pounds today. I want to get a nice big bag of these that I can put into the freezer. That way I got uh, beet leaves for all winter when I do my uh, smoothies, protein shakes and stuff like that. Nitrous oxide is really good. Usually I always try to pick the smallest leaf, uh, beet leaves because I think they're just better in smoothies. Because right now I'm just trying to pick all the biggest roots. Because, uh, like I said, they still have two more months to grow yet. Because of the nitrous oxide that's in beets, they're really good for blood pressure. This is some beets. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. It's probably, well, we'll see how heavy. Yeah, it's about three quarters of a pound just in that one beet. Normally I don't like them to get that big, but this year they just tend to uh, grow really well. I don't want to pull the small ones out, just the big ones right now. The 10 pounds of beets will do almost two, almost two cases of 250 milliliter bottles. I only use them in small bottles. And when I do my beets, when I first started doing beets, I used to use a lot of sugar. But now I've cut my sugar down to about... I cut my sugar down in my beets to a quarter of what I used to use. It's just that I don't like to use sugar too much anymore. Turn down my uh, vines while I'm standing right here. So yeah, like I said before, I usually come out every day and pick one beet. I usually pick like a mid-sized one to uh, just kind of scrape all the, the beet itself off. So yeah, there's 10 pounds right there. So that's all I really need. So yeah, these are like the average size of my beets that I'm getting. So yeah, the way I planted these guys, like I said in my video, you should check it out. And this is pretty much the size of my beets that I get every year. But yeah, there's the bucket of beets. Now I've only picked 
maybe a, a less than a quarter of the beet garden and I've got probably over 10 pounds it's probably closer to 15 there but by the time I peel them and get everything down they'll probably be close to 10 pounds so this garden like I said is only 20 feet long and about a foot and a half wide and I'll get more beets out of this garden than I could possibly use in a full year 12 months way more than I could ever use uh, I actually have a few neighbors who want to come and buy some which I will sell them some a little later but not right now because like I said I still need beets uh, this time of year for at least the next month and a half to two months so I can come out every day pick a, a, a beet just to grind up and uh, eat with my cinnamon that I take every morning for the nitrous oxide which gives you more what it does is it uh, relaxes your blood vessels and allows them to come open more and I like that for when I'm working out so you have more power when you're working out and more energy so yeah that's uh, pretty much it for the beats today and as you can see I still got lots left yeah leave me a comment uh, if you have any questions about uh, how I fertilized them how I watered them uh, I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions that you have so yeah thanks for watching uh, maybe consider subscribing smash that like button and uh, stay healthy stay safe Thanks for watching.